It's drum rack time! Ableton Live's drum rack is an incredibly easy to use and flexible virtual drum instrument. Let's take a closer look. Ableton Live. Quick tips. Quick tips. For improving your workflow. In about five minutes, not including this bumper. You can literally drag anything onto a drum pad, from a sample to another instrument. Boop a bear with it. Boop a bear with it. Those were samples. Now I'll drag on some virtual instruments. Each pad that you load creates an individual mix channel in the drum rack's track group. Load five samples and you get five individual mix channels in the group. You don't need to hassle setting up individual drum outputs for mixing because drum rack does it for you automatically. When you drag an instrument such as analog onto a pad, the note that's played on this pad is set here for the pad's MIDI out note. Remember, each drum pad represents an individual note on your MIDI keyboard, from C-2 all the way up to E8. You can insert effects on a sound by simply dragging the effect device onto a pad. You can also set up send effects within the drum rack by showing the return chains, dragging in an effect device, and then turning up the drum pad's send level Boop -a -bear with it. here on its mixer channel. Boop -a -bear with it. Boop -a -bear with it. Most people don't realize that you can also access the main mixer's effect sends from within the drum rack. Right-click to create a return channel, show the I.O., then assign the send chain to one of your main mixer's send effects. This way you can, for example, add the same reverb to your snare drum as your guitar track. In the I.O. section, you can also set choke groups. This allows you to set groups of pads to a sort of monophonic operation. For example, to mute the open hi-hat sample with the closed hi-hat sample, set both pads to the same choke group. And don't forget about the macros, especially for live performance. You can assign nearly any parameter within your drum rack to one of the eight macros for super easy accessibility. Click Map, select the parameter you want to map, and then the macro that you want to map it to. You can even assign multiple parameters to the same macro.
Bubba bear with it, 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 Bubba bear with it. Then, save your drum rack patch so you can easily recall it in any session. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe and sign up to my musicproductionhelp.com emailing list to keep up to date with all of my latest and greatest videos and tutorials. Also, remember to pick up one of these cool music producer t-shirts or maybe a music producer mug and show off your music producer spirit. Okay, cheers. See you guys soon.